Hello and welcome to the Diplomatic Missile, and this is going to be a quick video on the Starnoff Alpha 5 release. There have only been a few changes since my last update video, so I'm going to cover them nice and fast. Now the first part of this update is the introduction of Peaceful Mode. Now Peaceful Mode is exactly what you might expect. It means that no enemies, goblins at the moment will spawn, and just allows the freedom of a sandbox so you can, um, so you can build without a threat. So just the easy way to get to peace mode is when you start a new game you'll be asked for normal game or peaceful game. As you can see here it has a description of either. Now probably the biggest update since my last video has been a massive performance increase in map generation, pathfinding and the loading times. Now I'm going to demonstrate this here by going to a new game and creating a normal game. Now once this map loads and we can embark. And there we go, let's just embark there. We can now see that the loading times are just massively increased. Then this also goes for pathfinding. They've done it by condensing the LUA scripts using something called JTL, I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong there. I'm not the best coder in the world. But I'm going to go down here and place my banner. And as you can see, the game just runs a lot faster. Now this is a really great improvement for Stonehearth, as it was quite a simple game. But I think that adding this, it did kind of like tank the CPU a bit. But adding this kind of um, opens up the game for many other users. Now two couple of smaller updates here. We first have an updated character sheet, so if we go to our Manage Citizens and let's say uh, Lorna Brightwell, we'll click here and we'll click on her banner. As you can see, it now has an equipment box where this person has a mining pick and a worker outfit and no weapon I suppose that's for. And all of these are now updated, so she's got health bar, morale and experience and the mind, body and spirit are all still there. Now also if we go down here, we have attributes and morale. So we have all of these, we, these will all do something at some point I'm guessing, but that's for a future update. And another quick one is the goblins will now spawn and attack you a lot more moderately, they won't come in like massive waves of like 10 or more and you'll just get destroyed on like the third day. They come in much, uh, come in at a much slower pace, which is really really helpful. Now there have of course been some um, quite minor bug fixes as well as one quite big one which completely crashed the game. And there's also been some quite big pathfinding updates where workers will get stuck a lot less often. They'll barely get stuck at all now. And yeah, also the game is now available to all $15 backers as I'm sure you know. And although it was supposed to be released now, they've taken a lot of time on it. And they, they're not just rushing it to try and get it completed. And I think this is going to be brilliant on time of release, even if that takes years. So thank you very much for watching this video, and goodbye.